Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will see some basic concepts of capacitor. And we will see what will be the equivalent capacitor when two or more capacitors are connected in series and parallel. And we will, we will solve some problems related with this. Okay. So, capacitor is a device which can store electrical energy. And that electrical energy capital E is equal to half CV square where C is the capacitance of the capacitor and V is the voltage applied across the capacitor. Here you can see the arrangement of a capacitor. Here two conductors. We know that conductors are the charge carriers. And here you can see two conductors are connected in this way and they are separated by a, some distance. And that distance or the space is generally insulating medium. And these two plates carries charges of equal magnitudes but opposite sign. That means here you can see two plates and they are separated by this small space. And that space is the insulating medium. So the insulating medium will separate these two conductors. Okay. This insulating medium or the separating medium can be some insulator, dielectric insulator or vacuum that can be glass, paper, air or ceramic conductors. Okay. This capacitor will store energy or electrical charge when they are applied by some voltage. So, when the voltage is connected across the plates of this capacitor then some positive charge will deposited on one plate and negative charge will deposited by the other plates so the total charge q can be equal to c into v here q is the charge which is accumulated on the two plates this plates and c is the capacitance of a capacitor and V is the voltage applied across the capacitor. Here you can see different symbols for the electric capacitors. Okay. And here you can see one more equation for capacitance that is C is equal to epsilon A divided by D where epsilon is a constant that is dielectric constant and capital A is the area of the effective plates and capital D is the distance between two plates okay and the unit of capacitor that is capacitance that is farad and now here we are going to see what will be the equivalent capacitor or the effective capacitor when two or more capacitors are in series here you can see some capacitors which are connected in series C1, C2 up to Cn and the resultant capacitor will be 1 by C is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3 plus etc plus 1 by Cn. That is 1 by C reciprocal of the equivalent capacitor is equal to the reciprocal sum of individual capacitors. Okay. And that will be the total capacitance when they are connected in series. And the voltage if the voltage is applied across this capacitor then what will be the effective voltage that is the sum of individual voltage drop across the capacitors that is v is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 plus up to vn so this point is very important whenever two or more capacitors are allied in series then the total or the whole capacitance of this capacitors is low as compared with the capacitance of an individual capacitor okay so if they are connected in series then the resultant capacitance that will be low when compared with the individual capacitors okay this point is very important for technical exam point of view and here is an example that is what is the total capacitance if 5 farad and 10 farad 
capacitors are connected in series. Already we know that when they are connected in series, then what will be the resultant capacitance? That is 1 by C. Here, two capacitors. 1 by C is equal to C1 plus C2 divided by C1 into C2. That is 1 by C. So, capital C or the total capacitance. C is equal to the reciprocal of this one. So, C1, C2 divided by C1 plus C2. In this problem, C1 is given as 5 farad and C2 is 10 farad. So, we can easily calculate the equivalent capacitance that is C is equal to C1, C2 divided by C1 plus C2 that is 5 into 10 divided by 5 plus 10 that is 3.33 will be farad will be the total capacitance when these two capacitors are in series. Now here we are going to see the capacitors, what will be the equivalent capacitor, capacitance when they are connected in parallel. Here you can see two capacitors that is here capacitor A and capacitor B and these two capacitors are connected in parallel here. Voltage, capital V is the voltage applied across this circuit and that is V equivalent, that is the equivalent voltage. And VA is the voltage across the first capacitor that is A, that is VA. And voltage across the second capacitor B that is VB. But here in this parallel circuit, current is divided into two parts because two components are here. So current capital I or I equivalent be the current which is flowing through this region and that will split into two. IA is the some part of the current which is flowing through this capacitor and the rest current will flow through this capacitor that is B and the current through this capacitor is IB. So I equivalent will be the sum of IA plus IB but the voltage across the capacitor C1 or the first capacitor which is same as that of the second capacitor and that is the applied voltage. So V is equal to V equivalent is equal to VA is equal to VB. Okay. So I equivalent can be calculated from this equation. I equivalent is equal to C equivalent into DV by DT or DV equivalent by DT. Here C equivalent can be the sum of CA plus CB that is you can find the equivalent resistor by adding this two. Okay. In this way you can calculate the equivalent current and you will get the resultant capacitors. Okay, the equation for when they are connected in parallel is just add them. That is C equivalent is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3 plus up to Cn. So when they are connected in series, just add the capacitors. Then you will get the resultant capacitor. Here you can see an example. When three capacitors, 10 farad, 15 farad and 20 farad are connected in parallel, then what will be the total capacitance? You can imagine that these three capacitors are connected in parallel. Then what will be the total capacitance? Here it is given C1, C2 and C3. Then the total capacitance will be C1 plus C2 plus C3. Just you can add then 10 plus 15 plus 20 then you will get it as 45 farad. And one more example is here. Here you can see a series combination of capacitors here. And this series com combined capacitors are connected in parallel with the third one, C3. So here find the capacitance value of three capacitors in connected in the following circuit. So we, we need to find the capacitance value or the equivalent capacitance. <coughs> C1 here it is 5 microfarad and C2 is also 5 microfarad and C3 is 10 microfarad. So first we need to calculate the equivalent resistance of this C1 and C2. So 
C1 C2 is equal to C1 into C2 divided by C1 plus C2. So C1 and C2 are 5 microfarads. So 5 into 5 divided by 5 plus 5, you will get 2.5 microfarad is the equivalent capacitance across this two capacitors that is C1 and C2. And this C1 to C12 is connected in parallel with this C3. So in parallel case, we will get the equivalent capacitor by adding these two. So that is C12 plus C3. Here C12 is 2.5 microfarad plus C3 is 10 microfarad and you will get it as 12.5 microfarad is the equivalent capacitor for this given problem. Okay. Thank you. And for more videos, you can subscribe and share, like my channel. Thank you.